One of the topics I talk about a lot when it comes to extension meetings and then sun up talks is soil pH, specifically soil acidity. I want to take an opportunity and kind of break down some of the basic. What is pH? You know, why do we care about it? So the definition of pH is in scientific terms, the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. Now all this is saying is that pH is how much hydrogen, H, we have in the soil system. Now the soil system is balanced in two different elements when it comes to hydrogen. You have hydrogen and you have hydroxides, so OHs. And they're in a happy soil, they're at equal concentrations. So a pH of seven, you effectively have about the same amount of hydrogen as you have hydroxides. Now, as we go into a acid soil, or as the pH decreases, we have an increase in hydrogen. So we actually have more hydrogens in an acidic soil than we have hydroxyls. So this is an acidic soil. The hydrogen is overwhelming the hydroxides. If we want to talk about a basic or a high pH soil, in that soil system, we have an abundance of hydroxyls. So we have more hydroxides than we do have hydrogen. And so this is a high pH, and this is a low pH, or calcareous basic and acidic. Now, we spend more of our time in extension talking about low pHs. One of those reasons is that mechanically and agriculturally it is much harder to fix, much more challenging and costly economically to fix a high pH. So I'm going to focus on low pH. So on low pH, again, we have an abundance of hydrogen in the soil system. Now, the hydrogen itself does not hurt our plants, but when the hydrogen becomes abundant and our soil pH drops, we have a release of aluminum, which starts out as a nice and, and happy form of aluminum, aluminum hydroxide that doesn't hurt the plant and it's just kind of there. But as soon as we start getting a lot of hydrogen in the system, that hydrogen wants to go to hydroxide because we're unbalanced. It's heavy on the hydrogen side. So it actually starts stripping the oxygen away from this aluminum and we are releasing aluminum three plus. Now the importance of this is this is toxic to the plant roots. Plant roots cannot deal with this aluminum three plus at concentrations of very, very high. And so it kills the roots, it stunts the roots, and it creates uh, drought deficiencies and phosphorus deficiencies. By adding a product, by adding lime to the soil system and increasing pH, we then send the conversion back and we send Al3 plus back to the aluminum hydroxide form, these forms like here, ALOH, and effectively take it out of toxicity. And the last little note to, to say that the concentration of aluminum in the soil is affected greatly by pH. At a pH of 5, there's approximately, at a pH of 5, there's approximately 27 parts per million of aluminum 3 plus. Now, for most of our wheat, wheat becomes sensitive at a, P, at a ppm of 25 or less. So at a pH of 5.0, we're becoming toxic and having problems. If we move this down to a pH of 4.0, because of the way the chemistry works, we now have 27,000 ppm aluminum 3 plus. So that's why trying to grow something in a pH of 4 is near impossible because we're a thousand times the concentration which causes root damage. If you want to go more in depth and learn more about soil pH and the hydrogen and hydroxyl concentrations, feel free to go online and watch some of my lectures in my soil fertility class. Those links are available at sunup.okstate.edu.